I want to walk through the center of the door without any assistance. Okay. The next step Alan Zarad takes will be one of the greatest strides yeah. forward in his life. Right there. Exactly. One that allows him to see his future in an entirely new way. Oh, yes. <laughs> you just saw your first sunshine. Oh, okay. that, was, that was her. That's true. <laughs> so Mr. Zarad has a condition called retinitis pigmentosa. It's an inherited disease that involves the degeneration of a cell type in the retina called photoreceptors. All right, ready to put those on? I'm ready. Mayo Clinic ophthalmologist and retinal surgeon Raymond Iezzi has made it his life's mission to try to restore vision, even artificial vision, for people like Alan. The retina in these patients is relatively healthy uh, except for the photoreceptors. And so what we're trying to do is replace the function of these lost photoreceptors with the retinal prosthesis. The prosthesis is basically a bionic eye. While decades of research have convinced Dr. Aezi it's possible, this next moment convinces him that it's also essential. There! Yeah! <laughs> what do you see? <laughs> <laughs> With family members in tears, Alan is given his first glimpse of his wife, Carmen, in more than 10 years. This is what his camera is capturing right now. This is the frame. While the bionic system's interpretation of what Alan looks at may seem rough and pixelated to others, for Alan, it is literally an eye-opening revelation. Oh, okay, it's, it's gonna take, yes, it's gonna take interpretation of the shape of the light that's flashing. That's right. Okay. <laughs> because it's a pulsing light. It's That's not right. like regular vision where it's That's like right. constant. It's the flash and I've got to be able to interpret the changes in That's that shape. Exactly right. Okay, let's okay. do it again. Let's do it again. <laughs> let's do it again, okay? Yes. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, how are <laughs> I picked you up. Oh. <laughs> It's crude, but it's significant. You know, it, it, it'll work. Alan knew his restored vision would be limited. While a sighted person would see this hallway like this, Alan's bionic eye converts the scene into flashes of light. These small flashes of light are sort of like the, the, the points of light on a scoreboard at a baseball game. To try to imagine how it might look to Alan, Dr. Iezzi says to picture contrasting light and dark blocks on a grid. But by moving his head and using his visual memory and all of his cognitive skills and his remarkable capacity to get around, Mr. Zaird can reconstruct a scene. How it works is a bioengineering marvel, starting with the half centimeter wide electronic strip Dr. Iezzi placed inside Alan's eye. Called the Argus II, the system is designed by Second Sight. Animation shows how 60 electrodes on a tiny grid stimulate the retina cells with patterns of pulses, thus sending signals to the brain. One step at a time, Alan says he can't wait to see what's ahead. Oh, I can see with my eyes closed. <laughs> it's going to be an exciting journey. For the Mayo Clinic News Network, I'm Dennis Dota. I'm Dallas Jolly with BulletproofEveryone.com and today I'm going to be doing a demonstration of our 3A Bulletproof Jacket. This is our sport model. I'm going to be shooting it with 124 grain plus P 9mm. Coming out of my TriStar T120. Let's do it. Does it hurt? Absolutely. But we wanted to create clothing integrated with American-made body armor that's affordable.
that it greatly increases the chance of surviving what would usually be a deadly encounter. Am I gonna have a big fat bruise? Absolutely, yes, yes I am. But I'm still here, and I believe in our product. For a lot of people with, with migraine, it is just completely debilitating and, and only those people are the ones who can truly know what it feels like. At the point in which I have a migraine, I'm pretty desperate. I was losing possibly about 12 hours a month for headaches, for migraine headaches. I've had them last for days. My name is Marissa. I'm a mother of three. My name's Larry. I'm in law enforcement. I've been suffering from migraines since 2013 when I had a brain hemorrhage. Missing out on my life with my kids and work and things you have to do on a day-to-day -day basis. You can't really describe how you feel. It's just you don't want to be around people. You don't want to be around light or noise. You just want to be alone and kind of suffer through it as best you can. In the past several years, a few companies have come out with some catheter-based um, SPG block devices. And those devices, they work well, um, but the problem is that they're very complex. I'm trying to make this simpler. I'm trying to take it out of just the hands of the hospitals and the doctors and the big pharmaceutical companies, but put it in the hands of the patients who need it. The whole concept of this nerve block is that you just topically apply a local anesthetic, lidocaine, um, to an area in the back of the nose. It absorbs in there, blocks that nerve, basically turns it off. Wait, it's it's not here anymore though. Headache's gone. You sense the numbing sensation and it is an, a strange taste. Beyond that, within 20 minutes, I felt relief. You know, after the first time, you know, it was easy. The side effect profile is almost nothing. It doesn't have the side effects that other prescriptions have. It's life-changing. Our skin is constantly changing, and maintaining healthy skin has never been as easy as it looks. Introducing the Barrier Light. The first device that allows you to measure the most important part of your skin, the skin barrier. With the barrier light, you can understand your skin like never before. See what components in your environment are affecting you, and track whether your skincare routines are taking you in the right direction. It's like a GPS for your skin. When you see something that's going on with your skin, it's already too late. But with data and our barrier light, you can predict where your skin is headed and you can manage it from an early stage. You can get actual data on your skin that used to only be available in hospitals, research labs. We measure the temperature and humidity of your surroundings, trans epidermal water loss, and stratum corneum hydration. There's so many things we can track about our body. Our heart rates, how many steps we're taking, blood pressure, but the skin is one of the most important organs of our body and we have no way to track it until now. A lot of people don't know that the soaps they use, the ingredients that they have in their skincare products, even the type of detergent that they're using, all affects your skin. With our device, you can get some insight on how well your products are actually working. You'll get to have another set of eyes looking into your skin, and with that, we can give you insight and individualized feedback. Welcome to Infinidec, a true omnidirectional treadmill. Infinidec uses motorized components and a simple belt connected to a sensor to track and respond to your movements in real time. Infinidec's belt has multiple bands that change direction, allowing you to go in any direction at your own pace, freeing you to explore your virtual reality environment 
naturally and safely. Infinitech revolutionizes virtual reality movement, giving you the ability to quickly change pace, stop and go, crouch and pivot, providing a truly immersive experience. With our technology, you can feel like part of your favorite game or jog through exotic countryside while at the gym. Infinitech makes the future possible today. Imagine training simulations that prepare you for urban warfare, let you practice tactics on foreign terrain, or even walk beneath the stars of another world. Infinitech's omnidirectional treadmill technology makes it possible for you to be fully engaged in the VR world while keeping you safely in the center of the treadmill. There is no limit to where you can go. With Infinidec, reality just got bigger. <laughs>